Now that we've changed the text of that submit button, let's look at the larger form of our two views. Our new view and our edit view have for the beginning the same content for the error messages. And the forms are almost the same except for this label that we just changed where we changed it to create new user and create uh, update user pet profile. If those weren't different, then we could just use a single file for, for both of those. But since they are different, we need to do something a little bit more creative. So let's start by taking this error message portion out and, and put it in a, a partial here. So what we're going to do is since we're in the view, we're going to specifically say that we're going to do a, a partial rather than a, a full rendering here. And this correctly render partial and let's call this um, errors and then we can delete this and create our partial views users and remember our partial starts with errors uh, underscore um, and we can put that in there now in here we can just put render partial errors all right and now we can run our test to make sure that worked correctly and what we of course are going to expect is that we've copied that from each of those two views into a single view, that's going to be a lot better uh, usability, uh, reusability than we had before. Uh, we did have reusability, but they were in two different files. So if there was an error in here, let's say I iterated through this improperly, I might correct it in the edit, but forget to correct it in the new. And so this is a principle of D R Y, dry, do not, uh, don't repeat yourself. And uh, it's a big mantra in the, the Rails community. And now we don't repeat ourselves. We have this content in only one spot and, and just refer to it from our two other spots. And so if there is, ends up being an error in here, we're going to correct it in both right away. So that works. And so now we need to figure out how to uh, deal with our form. This part of our form is the, is the same in both. So let's just take that and put it in a, a separate partial. Okay, so let's delete that and let's do another render partial and let's call this uh, fields for the, the user fields uh, that are in our form and we can save that and we edit our new partial users. Again, it starts with an underscore and it's fields .erb, and we can push that and we can just format this real quickly and we should um, be good to go. Let's go back here. I was in the edit. Uh, make sure we're referring to that properly. And bef uh, we, we um, can just go ahead and run our test because um, we did the same thing as we did with the errors partial. So we run that and we expect green uh, throughout. Oh, wait, what are all those uh, failures? If we scroll up to see what these messages are, notice that it complains about undefined local variable or method F inside of our, our fields template. So if we first uh, look at our errors message, the only variables that we use are at user, and th that's made available to us from the view, copied from our controller into our view, and it stays available in our partial. But if we look at our uh, fields partial here, we use this local variable f. It's not an instance variable, and so uh, Rails separates out our variables from each uh, partial and container and so it doesn't know what this F 
refers to. And so we need to be able to tell Rails what F refers to. So let's go back and look at this a little bit more carefully. Um, what we meant to do is refer, we wanted to pass this F to this field and, and use it directly. And the way we do this is we create um, another thing that says for local variables the partial fields has an F and we're going to use F to replace it. And that's not very readable. Um, for learning purposes it works fine in larger sense, but I'm going to make it very clear uh, what we mean. So I'm going to create this, make it form, and what we're going to say is that the F in our fields partial should be satisfied by the form variable in this view right here. So that we um, know that when we see that F variable in our partial, we can say, oh, that's the, the object that's referred to right here. And so we get that and we, we access it all properly. So let's save that now and run our tests. And we should be much happier because now that uh, F variable in our partial is associated with this form variable and everything is good. Yay! Now we can go ahead and make the same change to our new. So I'm going to copy this, our, put that in there, and then delete all those. So now our view looks very similar to our edit with the exception of our, our little label right here. Oh, and that's going to fail because um, we, we used form right here, but we didn't change our, our variable in our form for here. So we should see those, those failures exist. So let's um, go ahead and make sure that it conforms to a readable syntax there. So now if we run our test again, now we've got form, 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 and things will work properly. And now we have much better views because they actually um, don't repeat themselves. They reuse the common elements from each other. And so this is a much better way to code our forms than we were doing previously.